Okay then, hi folks. Yeah, it's been a little while, uh, but I literally just this morning got delivery of this uh, brand new kit, so I thought I'd get it up there quick and uh, see uh, see what the score is. So uh, we back with one of our old favourites. This is Airfix with their brand new mould, one forty eighth uh, Spitfire Mark uh, Mark fourteen. So uh, basically, pretty much the last uh, Spitfire before the end of the war. Uh, so, looking at the box here, just wedged it up so you don't get a glare. It's kit number A05135. Outside, got some lovely, I'm guessing, Adrian uh, 2B art. Usual uh, international bump on the side. Uh, obviously, the other side here, nice little description of uh, oh, where it stood in the uh, the different marks of Spitfire. We've got uh, actual sizes as well, so uh, when it's complete, it'll be 206 millimeters long, 209 millimeters wide. 118 pieces should be quite simple. And we've got the two different markings, so we've got one uh, just about uh, before the end of the war. Uh, so in the camera from 4 and 4 squadron, and then one from just after, uh, just in the early 50s. And of course, those people who still bother. The uh, flying hours. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the Ethics Club right now, but we shall see. All right, let's move that out of the way now. Not needed. And uh, get her open and take a look. So, a uh, little bit from my uh, usual supplier there. They helped me out. MGL Hobbies, go and check them out on Facebook. Got me a good price, as always. Now, uh, what should we start with? Let's start with the instructions, as always. So, unfolding the usual uh, airfix bump, what we got? So, we got descriptions there again and the sizes again. Usual safety instructions, and then we're straight into, unsurprisingly, the cockpit. Looks like we're going to have a uh, inner cockpit uh, style, which would be pretty cool. Uh, so, side walls, seat building, building up, uh, no sign of any. Um, Straps, etc. So uh, you may have to source those yourself. Um, we've got uh, rear bulkhead, instrument panel, bottom with the stick. Uh, we have no pilot. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, or maybe that's a choice if you want to have the pilot. We'll have a look when we see inside. That's all going together. I love these new instructions with the red and the grey, showing exactly where things have to go. And yeah, that's the. Uh, tub all being fully constructed there so we should have some nice uh, nice uh, bits and pieces there we do have a pilot now, I think this was something to do with a competition if I remember correctly because uh, if you look at the pilot that looks suspiciously like an actual person it looks actually kind of a little bit like me before the beard so uh, <clears throat> good to see him in there uh, looks like we've got a little bit of extra bulky going there oh that's for the camera uh, going on uh, behind the pilot. I'm guessing, of course, you can have the option of whether or not to leave it open or uh, enclose. And we've got uh, options there if you want to cut out that for the separated door. It's pretty cool. I'm oh, sorry. Um, wheel wells going in. Again, choices. Whether you want to put it on a stand. Good strong wing spar. Wing spars. It's interesting that obviously that is a separate piece there, but there's no piece underneath for like fuel tank, etc. So maybe the aftermarket can get on that if you want to uh, display a fuel tank under there. Um, telling you to nip the uh, wingtips off, which might be slightly awkward considering both options in the kit will need you to do that. We'll have a quick look at that again in the parts. Uh, towels going on again. Simple instructions explaining exactly where they need to be, although with the click in there, it should be difficult to get it wrong. Two choices of tail, so we've got the bigger, taller one from later on. Flaps going on, two piece uh, fil uh, filter from underneath, fairly normal, but still a shame. Never seen to deal with there. Slipper tank, and then we're into the radiators. Again, some various choices there for you to pick from. And of course, the uh, huge rock covers. Or the Griffin engine and the cannons going on, and there's the wingtips there. Oh, there's the glass. 
for the camera. Uh, then we're going into undercarriage, course choices for wheels up or wheels down. Uh, looks pretty cool, little uh, scissor legs there. Gear doors for the tail if you're doing it gear up. Uh, separated hubs from wheels so they make it easier to paint. We've got some little greeblies going on. Uh, if we got to really to that part. Okay, I'll be painting before all that starts, but there you go. Choices for uh, exhausts. And then we're into that huge five blade propeller. Which makes it all really meaty and serious. A few more smaller greeblies going on. Looks like a different sort of setup going on. To make the propeller work, might be to the sheer size, perhaps. Can be going on that lovely teardrop. Uh, little side door again. This is it, obviously, can be closed or can be open. And then we're into the markings. So, again, we have this lovely camouflage one here, which I think I'll be doing. I think I quite like that with uh, the nose art there, which is nice to see. Very clear, very simple. And then we have the silver one from After War, just there, which I think has a slightly bigger tail. Okay then. Again, love those new instructions, they're lovely. So we're a big fan of those. Uh, decals before we uh, get into the parts. Not sure if they're cartograph or not, but they look the sort. Very clean, very simple, very little carrier film. Sort of semi-glossy, not too thick. Uh, got that lovely uh, nose up there for the camera one. Lazy lady, I do like that. And some some basic stencils, enough to dress her up without going too overboard. Right, let's get into the parts. So, perhaps unsurprisingly, typical airfix, we have one bag. So I'm going to find my knife. Now I'm stabbing myself. Get this open. Now try and be careful. See how much I can damage pulling it all out. Is there anything in the bag? Looks like we're good. So uh, clear parts are separately bagged at least. So they've had a little bit more protection. We'll take a look at those later. So let's have a look. See, so we have looks like um, yeah, the slightly softer plastic, but uh, not the really really soft one. So we've got the wings here. If I can catch it in the light. We've got some nice uh, rivet detail on there. Again, like the, the weird stresses that you see in this sort of star plastic, you can't feel it. There's nothing there. Again, after um, does look like a little bit of stressing. Just there though, that might need filling unfortunately. Some pretty big sprue gates on these parts, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, nothing too difficult. Inside, again, that's just fine. So it does look like we're going to have to trim off those uh, wing tips, which is really annoying to be honest, considering you're going to say both options in the kit will need you to do that. Fine for me, but again, perhaps some of the younger modelers that might... Uh, might just annoy them a little. Uh, we've got some injection marks here, but they're all out of the way where you're not going to see them. So, uh, pretty happy with that, all in all. So, we have the wheels. Which look nice. We've got some nice treaded ones or smooth ones. Options for the propeller. Bits are inside. We do have a pilot, because there he is. He doesn't have his glasses on, like in the instructions, though. Might have to scratch build those. I'm joking. Um, we've got the seat again there. All sides. Looking good. Look at the instrument panel. I missed it. No, it's not on here. Uh, we've got the um, exhaust, but they are solid. So they'll have to be drilled out. Hmm. And we've got all important fuselage parts. You know, if we can get the camera to pick that up. There we go. They're looking nice and sharp. All nice and uniform looking. 
that's going to look awesome with those big rock covers stuck in. But again, this big space here for the uh, cover where the fuel tank would be, and then there's nothing underneath it. Wonder why they bothered moulding it separately. Um, instrument panel looks quite nice. Do the job. Ring spar. There's big rock covers, and of course that huge fancy prop. We've got the big slipper tank just there. It's a big slipper tank, that one. Looking on the inside there, again, doesn't really look like it's going to be anything you're going to see in terms of ejection, molding, uh, ejection marks or anything. Uh, a quick look at the prop. Yeah, she's looking pretty beautiful, actually. I like that. Okay. And finally, the last piece. So this will be the uh, rear wing, uh, the lower wing, which looks lovely. A lot of nice detail in there. Perhaps not sort of Eddard levels of uh, detail, but again, you know, there's some debate over whether or not they over things anyway. I like it, but, you know, not everyone will. And again, like I've said before, airfix do tend to cater specifically for the younger wildler, uh, who might be brush painting, hence the sort of heavier uh, panel lines, etc. So, to be expected. But again, tail pieces again, we've got a little bit of detail on those. Not much fancy. Towels look lovely though. Again, we've got a choice. That's a, the actual trim is actually already stuck out, which is pretty cool. Two different choices, the smaller and the bigger. Got some lovely detail on the inside of uh, the cockpit there. I really don't think there's any need for any aftermarket at all though. That filter. Big nose. What was I? Uh, that big nose. Big nose there. And the flaps. They're looking pretty good. Let's say on the inside there's nothing that I can see that's going to get in the way at all. No rejection marks on anything that you're going to see. All in all, pretty nice, pretty nice. And finally, the clear parts, which are going to be quite important, obviously, on this one. which look stunning, in all honesty. They are crystal clear. Not the slightest bit of scuff on them at all. That's those wing tips there that you have to replace. There's maybe a tiny little bit just on, the, uh, on those wings, but nothing that you couldn't polish. Overall, I think they're going to look really nice when in position. So, Airfix's new Supermarine uh, Spitfire. So, um, the wingtips are a little bit annoying, uh, considering who they're going to be aiming this kit at. It's not going to bother me, but again, perhaps uh, younger modelers. Uh, just getting that straight. But uh, overall, looks like it could be a nice little kit. And uh, when built up, it's definitely going to look one seriously, seriously mean late Mark Spitfire. Uh, this guy's already decided uh, it's not for him. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you can get a good price, I uh, highly recommend it. This is their fix at their best. Um, I did mention obviously a little bit of aftermarket. I do know that Eddard actually are already looking at a uh, look range uh, instrument panel and seat belts, and I believe some uh, some wheels. Although I don't really think they'll be needed. Looking at it, I think maybe just the uh, just the belts, and I think you'd be ready to go. So uh, enjoy, highly recommend it. Look forward to seeing uh, what you guys uh, build yours up as. So uh, until next time, uh, like, share, comment, and uh, tell me what you think of it. Take care.